Hi, this is Eric at Drobo, and today we're going to talk about Drobo's data aware tiering technology. So with the advent of solid state drives to complement hard disk drives, there's a, a desire to use those solid state drives to accelerate applications and the type of data that hard disk drives just traditionally aren't, aren't great at. But there's still a value in hard disk drives because they're very high in capacity and they're relatively affordable. So ideally you want a solution or a storage solution that can leverage both. And that's what Drobo can do. So with data aware tiering, you can place solid state drives, which are represented by these purple boxes, and hard disk drives, which are represented by the black boxes, into a Drobo. And Drobo will automatically configure itself to utilize them for what they're best good for. So for, for solid state drives, they handle transactional data or transactional IOs really well. These are smaller IOs that are more random in nature. And hard disk drives will be used to handle bulk data or larger IOs, sequential IOs. So transactional IOs may come from a database application. Uh, bulk IOs may come from whether it's your file server or from a backup to disk uh, type of application. And so when you put the drives in the Drobo, that's the only interaction that the user has to have to set up tiering. It, it is that simple. So as the data is coming into the Drobo, if it's, if it's random in nature, that data will automatically end up on the SSDs. If it's, if it's bulk in nature and sequential, so larger IOs, sequential IOs, it will end up on the hard disk drives. So Drobo is, a, Drobo is optimized not only for read acceleration, but for write acceleration. So as it comes in, if it goes on the SSDs, SSDs are very fast and responsive. That data will be written a lot faster. But over time, sometimes, when Drobo thinks, that, okay, this, this transactional data, we're going to put it on the SSDs because it's going to need to be accessed very quickly. What if over time it's not really accessed that quickly and, and, the, data, and the data becomes what we call cold? It's not, it's not hot anymore. So if that data becomes, becomes cold, it'll be automatically migrated over onto a hard disk drive. Same with, same with uh, data that becomes hot. If it's in the bulk tier and data becomes hot, or your array starts with all hard disk drives and you add SSDs later on, that hot data will automatically be migrated over into the transaction pool. So the, the array not only optimizes itself initially when writing in, but also over time and it will adjust and, and tune for itself. So one of the values of the Drobo is we only need a few SSDs, it complements the hard disk drives. So in the end, what you get is you get very high capacity because you still retain a lot of hard disk drives and you get the performance of SSDs so you get both capacity and performance.